Hi, this is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Leo. Hi, Leo. How are you? Okay. Oh, goodness gracious. <clears throat> um, I have my Dragon Tarot. I have my Sacred Bee Tarot. <clears throat> my Oracle of the Unicorn for your um, spirit message. Romance, Angels, of course. My go-to deck. Um, my Rider Waite. My Lemurian Love deck. And my Love Oracle by Simply Spiritual. Okay, we'll do the same lineup that we did for Pisces. I just read for Pisces right now. <clears throat> we'll do the Love Oracle first by Simply Spiritual. All right. Leo. Let's see what's going on for Leo now. Leo. What's going on? Leo. Reading now for Leo, please. Thank you for allowing me to be clear channel for source messages. What does our beautiful fire sign Leos need to know? Let's cut these. Oof. What is happening here? Okay, I got them cut once. Let's cut these one more time. Alright, what do our Leos need to know? Four cards for Leo, please. One. Whew. Four cards for Leo, please. Wowzers. All right. Two more, please. Whoa. So for some of you, the reason... That nothing has happened and your love life has just been like, everything has just been a stalemate is because it wasn't the right time. Okay. We have dates. We have divine timing. Okay. One more please. Oof. That's going to hurt. Okay. So we have date. <laughs> And we have divine timing. Like I said, the reason that some of your love life has been going absolutely nowhere is because there was something that needed to... There was something that needed to be handled. Um, things weren't ready, if that makes sense. So, you know, everything is all in divine timing. The universe makes sure you never get anything until you're absolutely ready for it. Although it feels, it doesn't feel like it's going to happen right away. There's storm warning and there's also legal matters. So we're going to have to pull some more cards and figure out what's going on with that. Let's get one more card from this deck for Leo, please. Oh, yep. So storm warning, legal matters, and we have surrender. So whatever it is that's going on, it's gonna you're gonna have it's gonna ask for you to surrender from spirit. Okay. Um not sure where we want to go next. Let's do the dragon tarot. This is the order I did it for Pisces, so let's just let's just keep it clear the energy. Alright, we're reading now for Leo. We need to know a little bit more about this storm warning, this legal matters, and this surrender, please. For some of you, maybe your partner's married or you're married and legal matters is divorce. Though it could be anything that is going to affect your love, love life because it says, you know what's funny is I did a collective energy twin soul love reading on my Instagram, cha um, Instagram channel, Instagram page. And legal matters also came out there too. So, hold on one second. Okay, so yes, it came out as well on my Instagram. Sorry about that, by the way. And so, you know, we yeah, I, I got the exact same card, legal matters. So, I don't know. I don't know if that's just like a collective energy for, you know, a lot of the twin souls right now or what is going on. Okay, can we get four cards for Leo, please? 
four cards for Leo. Huh. Oops. Dropping cards here. Dang it, all done. Okay, sorry about that, Leo. I had to take off my bra. I couldn't. <laughs> it's funny, I was reading for Pisces, and I'm like, I, why did I put this bra on? I'm like, I hate bras. I can't stand it. I want to take it off. And then I was like, I'm going to take it off before I read for the next sign. And then it was, it, uh, it's you, Leo. And I forgot. I forgot to take off my bra. And it was driving me nuts. And whew, I just had to take care of it. Okay. Plus, I dropped a couple cards. I had to open them up. Okay, hold on. We need three more cards for Leo, please. Queen of Cups. Wow. Everyone keeps getting this card. Not in this deck, but Pisces got it too. Two of Cups. It's crazy. I'm so flushed all of a sudden. What's going on? So hot all of a sudden. Ten of Swords. What in the freaking hell? How do you go from Queen of Cups to Two of Cups to freaking Ten of Swords? Okay, one more card for Leo, please. What the hell's going on? This feels like a freaking Aquarius read or a Scorpio read. Those readings are always so damn screwed up. It's like, what? What the frick? Okay, so here we got Queen of Cups, King of Cups, counterparts. Two people that want to, to be together, right? We got Two of Cups. This is a strong connection. Soulmate, twin flame, cosmic connection. Two of Cups represents two people divinely suited, divinely guided together. Um, it's a spiritual union that is put together by the divine. It's divinely protected. And yet there's a freaking Ten of Swords in the middle of this. It literally came out like this. Queen of Cups, Two of Cups. Ten of Swords. King of Cups. There is something in the middle that is preventing you guys from getting together. And I don't know what it is. It has something to do with this storm warning and legal matters. Oh my God. One more card, please. <laughs> I'm done. We got Knight of Pentacles. I swear to God, if it's something financial, it's that's just, it's stupid. It's fucking dumb. It better not be something financial because that's, that's just retarded. <laughs> Sorry. That was politically incorrect. <laughs> I didn't mean to say that, but it is. It's dumb. <sighs> Shit. I think I just screwed these cards up. I put them upside down. Hold on a second. Damn it. Oh, hold on, Leo. Okay, so I'm going to pull from the Sacred Bee Tarot for you. So I was reading about the Knight of Pentacles. I'm sorry I had to pause your reading so many times, but I had to fix these cards, the Sacred Bee Tarot, because they were all like upside down and stuff I don't know how they got I don't know how they got like that okay but they were they were all flippy floppy <laughs> so but I was reading up about the Knight of Pentacles while um while I was doing that and it says something it's it says something about an earth sign who is rel reliable dependable patient but they're not very spiritual so take that as it resonates. It could be, you know, your, your person or you are still in a karmic um, pattern loop. That makes sense. Okay. Three cards for Leo, please. Now I feel like I'm super jiggly. Jesus. Three of discs. Effort.
Makes no sense. Princess of Wands. What the frick is this? Makes no sense. This whole reading is just like not making any sense at all. I'm so confused right now. Why do Leo's reads always confuse me? I mean, three of this, as far as I know, is some kind of collaborative effort. But how did that make sense in a love reading? I don't know. One more card, please. Oh, Lord, something flew out. Hold on. God damn it, two cards just flew out. I'm sorry, three cards flew out. <laughs> okay. Let's get one more card, please. Okay, so basically what is happening, we got another princess card. What the? Okay, so basically what is happening is there's Ten of Swords energy in between your guys' union in, in your energy field. Somehow there's a karmic involved situation. It's interference. There's no effort being done on either of your parts for you guys to get together. The fuck, Leo? Okay. I might have to do an extended on this. Um, Princess of Wands, Princess of Disc. We have to read this because I have no fucking clue what these cards even mean. I've never had to deal with them ever in a love reading, so I have no idea what is going on right now. Absolutely no idea. <laughs> I mean, I'm just going to be completely honest and say that. I have no clue what they mean in a love reading at all. I don't even know if I have any clue what they mean, period. I've never, these cards have never showed up. Earth of Fire, forthcoming and uninhibited. Okay. Ingenuity and curiosity towards growth. Being resourceful and curious. Loves to try out new ideas. All right, so I don't know. Doesn't make any sense. Whatever it is, it feels like they're heading towards um, new growth and new trying new things. If this is your person, I mean, maybe they needed this time apart so that they could find themselves. I don't know. It feels like this is what is needed for your person to surrender. I'll tell you what though it feels like both of you are really freaking unhappy in this like this four of swords recovery i feel like it's taken a huge toll on both of you and you this time apart you're gonna take this time apart to like spiritually heal to connect more to source to meditate and that's probably a good thing your person right now to princess of disc it feels like your person if this is, is representing a divine feminine, it feels like she is working on her finances, if that makes sense, okay? I don't know if that's what it means, but I'm going to look it up. It's what it feels like to me. I mean, I could be wrong, but... Earth of Earth. Starting a solid foundation for future success. Relatively new at the game and still seeking knowledge. Focuses on making the right decisions and doing the groundwork. See? So... Your divine feminine is in this union is laying down the foundation, excuse me, and doing the foundation for her groundwork. You know, she, this she could be relatively new in like finding um, her sort of footing in the spiritual community. Maybe she's just started her spiritual awakening. I don't know, but. It feels honestly like she's working on her finances, trying to um, establish her future, okay? And I don't know, It, it maybe it's because right now you guys are on this break or this pause or this period of separation. I definitely want to pull some more cards on this Ten of Swords to see what is, why you guys are in separation. Let's, we haven't done any, okay. Let's do some Romance Angels. We didn't even do, done, do any of those. 
energy has me all freaking. I don't know. This doesn't apply to me, so I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Okay. It's going to apply to someone, though. All right. Four cards, romance, angels. And then I'm going to pull some cards on the Ten of Swords energy, okay? All right, Leo. What does Leo need to know, please? Four cards for Leo. Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Take that out. It resonates. That's weird. All right, let's... Whoa! Hold on. Dropped a card, Leo. Again! Okay, I'm starting to not like your energy, Leo. I'm done. Bye. Get out of my house, Leo. Oh, it's 1555. Why can't it just pause? What is going on? I'm so annoyed at this reading. I'm done. I'm, Leo, I'm done with you. Criminy. My God, it was just 1606 on my phone and 1555. <sighs> I want to be done with your reading. I'm annoyed. Your guys' energy is all over the place today. What the freaking hell? Cards are flying out. Like the energy stops and then it starts and it stops and then it starts. It's irritating. Okay. And I've never been irritated with Leo before. I mean, I'm a Leo, so I don't get irritated. What the hell? Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. What are you doing, Leo? Why have you not... Separation. <laughs> Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Why have you not walked away from this relationship already? What is going on here? This is not... How do you go from two of cups energy to this energy? I don't... Okay, I'm confused. I am so confused, Leo. I'm... <laughs> What kind of a game are you playing right now? Please explain to me because I am freaking confused as hell. I might have to do an extended on this because I don't get any of it. Flirt! Of course. Of course. <laughs> okay, so there's not enough attraction. <laughs> Pay attention to the red flags. Separation. And then we got flirt. So here's what's going on. If your person is with someone right now and it is a karmic, as I'm sensing with this card, the Knight of Pentacles, the reason they have separated from this person is because there was red flags, it was an unrequited love, the chemistry wasn't there, um, the flame died out, so they might be newly separated. You know what, though? You know what? You know what, Leo, though? This card, flirt, you need to, if you feel some type of way for this person, you're going to have to flirt with them because I don't feel like they even know what the hell is going on. I feel like they don't even know you're interested. I am going to throw some cards on this, some more cards on this, and on this Ten of Swords energy that is separating you guys. Honestly, it feels like your person or you are still involved in some karmic drama. It's a freaking shit show. Karmic poop loop. And it's not good. And it takes, it's going to take both of you surrendering or one of you or shit, probably both. All right, can we get four more cards for Leo and wrap this up? And then I'll, I'll do an extended. I'm going to do an extended for... Sagittarius tonight on my Patreon. So, yeah. That's the type of energy Leo's in right now. So let me get your four cards and I'm going to explain to you about my Patreon. Two cards flew out. I don't know if we're going to take them. They're in reverse. I don't even take reversals for Leo. What is going on? I don't even take reversals, Leo. Oh my goodness. We're going to take them all. Two more cards, please. Okay, so you're all up in your head about this. Oh my God, we're done. 
All right, so self-imposed prison. So you're all up in your head about something. You feel like there's no way out. But this is a prison that you have created, Leo. Nobody else has created it for you. You created it for yourself. And here's the thing. I feel like the whole Ten of Swords is because of this. This, it came out in reverse. This is being lied to, lies, manipulation, someone being dishonest. But this came out in reverse. So you feel like your person is being dishonest with you, but they... Oh, my ears are ringing. Hold on. Messages. Yes, if there's a message, let me know later, please. I'm reading for Leo. <laughs> okay, if you feel like... Oh, it's still ringing. Left one. If you feel like your person is lying to you, you feel like your person is lying to you, okay? That's, this is actual lies and manipulation. This is honesty. So if you feel like your person is being dishonest with you, they are not. Or dishonest with you, they are not. They are being completely honest to a fault, okay? They are being so honest, it's killing them. So take that how it resonates. Whatever it is you're imagining about them, that they're dishonest, they're deceitful, it's it's wrong. It's absolutely wrong, okay? We have the Hermit in reverse. So, you know, you have a need to be really, you want to be really social right now. You know, this is wanting to be alone. This is wanting to go out and be social. I don't know. It, it feels, honestly, Leo, like you're going out and being social because you're trying to forget Um you're trying to distract yourself from your feelings. I don't, that's not going to work. I'm sorry. It's just, I think that you ought to. I think you need to do some spiritual healing. That's what it feels like. You need to do a whole lot of this. Surrendering. I see some legal issues coming up. Honestly, the legal matters feels like your person is finally filing for divorce so if they're separated this is like the finalization of everything i hope that makes sense we have five of swords so this is a feeling of being overconfident too smug um you know sometimes leos come across as very confident and smug but it's also the card of trying to win at other people's expense so be careful that you're not doing that leo um that's not a good energy to be in. If you are in this mindset, like, I can win no matter what the cost, then what happens when you actually do win and it doesn't feel good? I mean, it doesn't feel earned. You know what I'm saying? Or it doesn't feel right. So I'm not sure what that's about. Um, but it feels a little egoish. So... It feels also to me with the Four of Pentacles, when this comes out in our love reading, this is holding on too tight to your heart. So it's like, even if your person or you surrender and you get in this energy of flirting and dating or whatever, the timing's not right right now. Look, we got divine timing and storm warning. Okay, so, you know, your person just might be going through a divorce. The energy's not right. The timing's not right. But even if your person did want to come forward and you guys work something out, right? You're in this energy of holding on too tightly to your heart. You're not open for love at this point anyways. Holy crap. All right. I am done. <laughs> I am so done with this reading, Leo. <laughs> I'm done. Get the feck out of my house, Leo. We are done. Get out of my house. All right. I am going to do some cards for your career. And then I'm going to do your spirit message. And then I'm going to do a message. No, I'm going to do your career. I'm going to do some messages from your person. And then I'm going to do your spirit message. And I am freaking done. This has been a real reading, Leo. <laughs> it's been real. That's all I'm going to say about it. All right, let's do Leo career. I'm done with this. <laughs> I'm going to do an extended for you to see if the energy changes for you on my Patreon page. And that's what I was saying. 
Three cards for Leo Queer, please. Um, if you want to join my Patreon, um, I have two tiers. One for five, $5.55 and one for $3.33. Okay, it's not expensive. But I'm going to be doing extended readings on there for the signs when you get readings like this. Where everything is a shit show and I'm going, what the fucking fuck? Fuck, 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 fuck. Okay? So I just did a, fu I just did a fucking fuck, fuck reading for Sagittarius. So I'm going to do an extended for them tonight on here. Okay? On my, I'm not on here. On my Patreon. And I'm going to upload it to my Patreon. Okay? So you have access to those if you join my Patreon. You will always have access to the extendeds when your reading on here on my channel is a shit show. Okay? So that way I can get more information for you and for me in regards to your love life. Also, I'm going to be doing sexual energy reads for each sign, Aries through Pisces, basically stating what, you know, your person likes sexually, whether or not you're going to get laid in that month or whatever, okay? So basically things like that, okay, from Aries to Pisces. So you'll have access to all of those if you join my Patreon, okay? And also there will be Mayan light languages on there and collective energy reads on there as well. All right, let's get three cards for Leo career. No, we need to be done with Leo. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done with Leo's energy right now. I realize Mercury's in retrograde, so that everything's a shit show, and Venus just went direct, so yeah. Oh my god, Ten of Wands. What in the hell? Okay. Two more cards for Leo. Okay, so you want to go somewhere fast, but you don't know where you want to go, do you? And to top it all off, you're tired as hell and you're just <laughs> not feeling anything right now, Leo. You're not feeling it. You're just like, I'm not feeling it. But you're very freaking antsy. Oh my God. You need to just take a break and pause. One more card for Leo, please. Let's just sum it all up. Let's, what's the energy for Leo for the rest of the month? <laughs> I am very disheartened right now. <laughs> it is not a good day to be a Leo. <laughs> One more card for Leo to summon up, please. Oh my god. They're like, why not take two? <sighs> okay, we're gonna take them. We have Ten of Wands. This is the card of oppression. It's the card of feeling exhausted, irritated. That's your energy. This is the card of being completely um antsy, wanting to get things done now, but not sure what path to take. Knight of Wands, it's going nowhere fast, right? We have Four of Swords, Recovery, um, needing to take a break, take a pause, breathe, meditate, figure out where the frick you're going, okay, Leo? And then the two cards that popped out when I was like, okay, I need one more card for Leo to sum up the, uh, you know, January month. We got Nine of Cups, Happiness, right? And we got the chariot. This is Cancerian energy. Now, the chariot is about balancing yourself, following your desires, but also controlling your desires. Okay? Controlling your desires. Taming them, following them, and letting yourself control those desires. And then once you learn to do that, Leo... Everything else will fall into place because this is about you following your passion, letting your passion guide you while at the same time guiding yourself and not letting things control you, okay? Allow those shadows and that light to blend together, control them and control those desires and passions and then you will get somewhere, okay? Then comes your nine of cups, your happiness, Fudgy, 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 wudgy. Okay. We're going to get two cards from my Lemurian love deck as a message from your person. And then we're going to do your spirit message. And we're going to call it a reading. I got to do the extended for Sagittarius. And I just read for Pisces. And I'm getting exhausted. This energy is shit right now. <laughs> Pisces had a beautiful reading. I don't know what's going on, Leo. I don't. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. It has been a regular shit show. Welcome to the shit show. 
One, two, and you get freaking Union. Okay. First card I pulled is bam, Union. So play your cards right. Your person is saying to you, they want Union. They want Union. They want Union. They want you. But right now, there's something preventing you guys from being together. We've had so many lives and loves together. This is a deep soul connection. It is someone that you have known and loved in the past, okay? You've had lives together. You've had loves together. You have a deep soul connection. Your soul knows each other and... Your person feels it just as much as you do. Last card is let's grow. Let's grow together. Let's grow together. So they want you to make all of those mistakes. They want you to. It was just 3111 on my phone. They want you to make all of your mistakes. They want you to learn and grow with them. Anything that you do is going to be okay with your person, Leo. They want you to make all of the mistakes and take all of the lessons and everything with a grain of salt because no matter what you go through you're both going to grow th go through it and grow through it together you're not alone your person wants you to remember this okay okay let's see your oracle of the unicorn i don't know why i just all of a sudden i just felt really okay i'm done Oracle of the Unicorn. Let's do it. I am not going to let the collective energy of Leo make me feel some type of way. Time to protect myself with an energy bubble. Alright, let's get a spirit message for Leo, please. Can we get two cards for Leo? Spirit message, please. We're done. Three, two, two, two on my phone. I am literally... Okay. I am, my hair is so long, it is literally getting caught in the cards right now. I'm so annoyed. Okay. I feel like I've just been annoyed as hell with Leo right now. I'm done. I'm just like, I want to be done with Leo. I'm done. I'm <laughs> done. I'm done. This reading has been crazy. And I'm just done with it. Cycles. Everything has its right time. I told you it's not the right time. It's not the right time for you and your person. It's not. Honor the cycles of your body and tune into the moon's magic. Okay. So there's that one. It's not the right time. Follow, follow the cycle of your, you know, your um, getting to your person. Okay. This video is too long. It already went into another file. So I'm going to have to edit I'm going to have to edit these two videos together. <laughs> Fuck my life. Imagination. Envision a new reality and give yourself permission to dream. Believe in unlimited possibilities. So it's time to imagine and envision your life, how you want it to go, Leo. And um, give yourself permission to feel all of those dreams because everything is possible. There is no limits on what you can do in regards to your life and your love life. All right, that's all, Leo. If you want to book a reading with me, um, all of my prices are in the description box below my videos. For those of you who've already purchased readings for me this month, thank you. I've been so swamped this month. I'm so blessed. Thank you guys so much. Um, I already talked about my Patreon. If you would like to join me on there, then that's awesome. Um, but please check out my son's channel. His channel is always a featured channel on my um in my description box and help him grow his channel guys share his stuff he's so excited about his channel and he's really trying to grow it so subscribe share do all that for him um for those of you that already have thank you let's see please check out my etsy shop if you feel so guided to there is always a link for my Etsy shop too in my description box. Um, you can also purchase this Lemurian love deck, which I created with the beautiful artwork from um, Kimber Kiss. Uh, so yeah, you can you can purchase that on my Etsy shop. I only have six decks left, so I mean they're 
they're flying. They're flying off the shelves. Um, I cannot keep them stocked in my shop. So when these are when these are um, gone, I might order some more. I don't know yet. Uh, just it just depends. They're awful expensive to order. So I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to be restocking them or not. So we'll see. All right, Leo. I love you. If you'd like to watch your extended. Join me on Patreon and I will have your extended upload in there, I promise. All right, love you. Bye.